Right, no particular order here. They're to do an oil change on a two litre petrol bongo Ford Frida. So you'll have to chop and move this all into some coherence. But basically, I've got the driver's side engine cover open. You can see the oil filler there. We can see where the oil filter actually fits. See there, the threaded bit. Right, it goes on there, and you notice that's the oil that comes spurting out when you take it off because it's on its side. And it's tough shit, that's what happens. Anyway, right, okay, now then. Looking underneath the vehicle. This is a plastic storage box that I chopped with a poly saying UPVC saw to actually get it under the vehicle without jacking it up. If you notice the orientation of it, it's long wise towards the side of the car because lurking under there, oh my knees, is where the sump plug is. What we'll do is we'll have a look when I move this tray of gack out of the way. Now moving it slowly, nestling in here somewhere is the sump plug. We'll go fishing for that later on. So conveniently move that along a little bit. When you take the sump plug out, there's quite a a bit of force behind all that oil. Four and a half kilos of force. Now, let's see if you can see under here. Waving my torch around. Can't be able to see it. See where the oil's going to be Anyway, it's up there somewhere. That's where the oil drain plug is. Hope you've seen it. The important thing is the oil thing is one of these. Now, this is a 19mm socket and it's really quite useful. Because there's not a lot of clearance if you try and do this job. Well, that's the vehicle that backed up. But that's what you need. And you need to be careful. Because if you round the end of the nut off, you might have big problems. And if the end of the if the nut is at all rounded off, you really want to replace it because it's going to be a pain in the backside next time. Anyway, so what we'll do is we'll dispose of the oil in an environmental way, i.e., not down the drain, and we'll fit the new oil filter, which is a Crossland here, a small filter for a big vehicle. That's actually a Crossland number there and it says compatible for Mazda hoo hoo there we go L10222PS it says if it's not in focus and that wee little filter fits on there where well, I was pointing my torch and the engine takes I think four and a half litres of petrol according to a slightly Spectacularly Japanese owner's manual. So if I've got five litres of oil in here, what I don't want to be doing is faffing around working out if I've poured four and a half litres in. So before you do anything, um, borrow a jug from your wife's cupboard under the cover of darkness and then measure out half a litre, keep it in the drug, jug and then pour it back in again if you need to top the vehicle up between the... Uh, oil changes and don't forget to make a note of whatever you've done and stick it in the back of the book so that you can remember and there's a little bit in there but not all of it so enjoy